morning children today we are here to discuss to revise unit 5 sound of 8th class As we have completed our chapter, we are going to discuss the total exam examination revision part. How the examination would be? Examination will be as same as annual examination pattern, in which first session consisting of part A consists. First session is part A. Second session is part B. In part A, first session is very short answers, in which. Seven short answers, one more question will be there. You have to write seven. Second day is what? Short answers in which six short answers will be there. You have to write six total twelve marks. It comes to third one, a set of questions. Eight questions will be there. For each question, there will be internal choice. Therefore, four questions you have to write total for four or sixteen marks. Total thirty five marks. And multiple choice questions will be given. Five marks in annual examination. As we are writing examination in this examination, instead of multiple choice questions, we are going to give you fill in the blanks. That is, ten fill in the blanks. Each one carry half mark. Give us five marks. Thirty-five plus four. The thirty-five plus five is equal to forty marks. This would be examination pattern. Coming to revision of this particular sum, what are the topics we have studied? Let me recapitulate the topics there itself. First topic is what production of sound. We have seen it. How sound can be get produced? To perform that particular one, within that production of sound, first one is having as what listening the voices. Based upon that one activity is there. It is activity one. And well as identifying the sounds, different types of sounds will be made up. We can identify that one. It would be given as what activity two, production of sound. How sound can be get produced? That produced sound can be can be identified in two different ways. First one is listening the sound. As well as identifying the sound. Activity one explains about listening of the sound. Activity two gives explanation about what uh, identification of the sound will be given there. That is the first part there itself. Third one is what activity three. What does this activity three gives information? This activity three gives information about what vibrating bodies produce sound. We have clearly said that vibrating bodies, all vibrating bodies, doesn't produce sound. They will be consisting of audible frequency range within that particular audible frequency range, 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Within this region only, if the frequency in the body is said to be get vibrated. That vibrating bodies can be listen sound. If less than, lower than this frequency or higher than this frequency, we cannot listen that particular sound. So that no, all the vibrating bodies does not produce sound. With low frequency, if they are vibrating, they won't produce. If with high frequency, if they are vibrating, they won't. They cannot be heard by our eyes. But with an audible range of 20 kilohertz. 20 hertz to the power of 20 kilohertz. If we make a body to be get vibrated, then we can hear that particular sound. That is one more example. We can give it up. That is one more example. Next thing is what activity four discussed about that one, as well as activity six. Activity six gives information about what. Jalantaran or else observe the changes in the sound. Jalantaran observing the changes in the sound as the medium is changing. Observing the changes in sound by doing one one experiment called as Jalantaran. 
जलतरण एक्सपेरिमेंट राइटिफाई एज द मीडियम ऑफ मीडियम ऑफ वाटर इज ग्रेजुअली डिक्रीजेस इन डिक्रीजिंग वाटर इफ आर अलाउ इन द पर्टिकुलर वाटर टू बी गेट एक्जिस्ट एंड प्रोड्यूस सम एंड इफ हीट द पर्टिकुलर ऑब्जेक्ट एज अ एज अ टॉपर एज अ पर्टिकुलर मेटालिक स्ट्रिप और ग्लास इफ इट हीट इन द स्टेट इट प्रोड्यूसेस डिफरेंट साउंड डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ साउंड कैन बी गेट प्रोड्यूस दैट एक्सपेरिमेंट गिव्स इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट व्हाट जलतरण That is observing the changes in the sound, which gives activity six. Next one is what are activity six? We are having structure of larynx as well as voice box. How does this particular voice box would be? And uh, within this voice box, what parts will be there? Vocal parts will be there. And how is if these vocal parts are open? What happens if these vocal parts are closed? What happened? We have discussed clearly within such a raw larynx as well as voice box. That is activity of activity six is having. Next one is what activity seven. What does this activity seven give us information? This activity seven gives information about what observing the movement of vocal cords. How the vocal cords are moving? Observing the Movement of movement of vocal cords. As the vocal cords are moving, they can produce different types of sound. It is high pitch sound can be heard. If a bar, if a particle is vibrating with high frequency, low pitch sound can be heard. If it is vibrating with what low frequency, therefore, based upon the movement of vocal cords. High pitch sound can be get heard as well as low pitch sound can be get heard. That explains about activity seven. Next one is what after activity seven we are having what one more thing production propagation of sound. How sound can be get propagate to propagate sound? Purple sound there must be consisting of medium. That medium may be solid, liquid, as well as gases. Based upon solids, the propagation of sound through solids perform an activity. The activity is activity eight. Similarly, based upon liquids and gases, one more activity we are going to be get perform that activity is nothing but what activity nine, which gives information about. There, yes, sound will be get propagated through liquids as well as gases. Similarly, activity and experience clearly about how sound can be get get propagated through solids with various examples. With various examples, it explains that is propagation of sound consisting of activity eight as well as activity nine. That is regarding activity eight and activity nine. Next one is what activity ten. If you go for activity ten, what does this particular activity ten gives information? It gives information that sound does not travel through. Sound requires medium. Sound requires medium to propagate. If there is a vacuum, vacuum will sound can be get propagated through that particular vacuum? No. To perform that one, we are having an activity there. To perform that one, we are having an activity here, and here also of activity three, we are having activity four also. What does this activity four gives information? Sound energy, sound travel in the form of energy. Sound can be get propagated in the form of energy. The vibrations, what it is producing, it consisting of. Certain energy based upon that activity four will be get existing, and coming to our activity ten, sound require medium to propagate. After that topic, we are having one more concept. That concept is structure of ear. Ear consisting of three parts: outer part, middle part, as well as the interior part of the ear. How the part of sound will be get propagated from outer part to the top, middle part, from middle part to the top, inner part, part as much as possible. 
and how salt can be get received through the hairs of nose to the brain. Already we have studied clearly within this particular structure of ear. After structure of ear, we are having characteristics of sound. Within this characteristics of sound, two different characteristics are there. First one is loudness as well as feebleness. And on what factor this particular loudness depends? We have studied about that one. Second one is what pitch or shrillness. And on what factors? This pitch will be get depend clearly. We have studied clearly within the characteristics. Loudness as well as shrillness means what? On what factor this one does this? The loudness will be get existing. Pitch and shrillness. On what factor this particular pitch will be get existing? We have clearly studied within characteristics of sound. Let on based upon these characteristics, two lab activity to explain loudness as well as feebleness. First lab activity he has given, which gives intensity of sound relationship between relationship between intensity of sound to the top vibrating body with what in what way it will be get existing if the intensity of sound is measured with what you need decibel you need therefore as the vibrations are greater intensity of sound produced will be greater therefore it is called as loudness if the vibrations are less intensity of sound will be very less that indicates nothing but what feebleness that is the relationship we are going to study there we have studied already next one is what Pitch as well as shrillness. Based upon that, one more lab activity we are going to perform. It is lab activity two, which gives a pitch as well as shrillness of a particular object. Based upon that lab activity, we have seen clearly. And uh, if it is a low frequency, it produces low pitch. If it is a high frequency, it uh, it produces high pitch. It depends mainly upon what amplitude. What is called as amplitude? Also, we have studied the maximum displacement of a wave at one certain point is called as amplitude, and its factors also we have discussed clearly. These all are. This is one more. It is what lab activity two. What we have to study within characteristics. Next thing is what after completion of characteristics, one more topic is there. That is normal song. Within this one normal song. Audible frequency range will be get existing simultaneously. In audible frequency range will be get existing. Audible frequency range is what 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Inaudible means what less than 20 hertz. What is the sound will produce? That sound is called as infrasonics. Greater than 20 kilohertz. What is the sound will be get produced? They are called as ultrasonic sounds. Therefore, audible frequency as well as inaudible frequency. If we study also, we can we can clearly understand what is the frequency range of normal human beings who can listen sound. And if it is lesser than the particular frequency or greater than the particular frequency, what are those? They are called as infrasonic as well as ultrasonic. We studied that. Uh, that is one more topic. What we are going to be get study. Last but not least, the topic is what what we have studied is noise pollution. Within this normal audible sound, we will have one more topic. The topic is what noise as well as music. Differences between what is meant by noise and what is meant by music. And differences between noise and music also we have studied clearly. Unpleasant sound gives us what noise. A pleasant sound with rhythmic way equal sequential decreasing or increasing in amplitude gives us what a musical note. The differences we have studied clearly. Next one is what noise pollution. That is sound pollution. Unpleasant sound which is unable to hear it creates what a polluting of the sound. So that what happened? Uh, how this particular noise pollution can be obtained? What are the characteristics of the particular noise pollution? We have studied there itself. 
what are the characteristics of this particular noise pollution we have this clearly studied not only that one what are the effects of this particular uh, noise pollution also we have studied clearly hypertension getting the drop hearing uh, impairment as well as cardiovascular diseases etc so on we have clearly studied about effect not only that one one more point is there within noise within noise pollution that is uh, what would be the causes of noise pollution how is the what are the causes of noise pollution also we have seen there is a clearly not only cause of noise pollution or noise pollution how to control that particular noise pollution this all the topic we have covered within the sound chapter there itself so that what happened if we concentrate on four questions it consists of how many questions eight questions each question will have internal choice therefore eight questions if you pick up from this particular so from this particular concept what we have studied easily we can secure four marks first one is what you can go for now what is meant by noise pollution what are the characteristics effects as well as causes and controlling together if you take it up one one four marks question can be obtained or two two marks questions what is noise pollution its characteristics and effects what are its effects what is noise pollution what are its effects two marks question how noise pollution the causes of noise pollution and controlling it up two marks Two to four marks we can get it up from the bottom and we get it up. And coming to our characteristics of sound, loudness, troubleness, factors, pitch, shrillness, factors. Together we can ask for we can ask for how many marks? Four marks. Or individually loud. What is meant by loudness and troubleness? What are the factors affecting loudness and troubleness? What are the factors affecting pitch or shrillness? Individually, if you study, two mark question can be obtained by itself. Therefore, read these two things for four marks. We can study simultaneously. We can go with for two marks. But the as here, two lab activities are existing based upon characteristics. First lab activity, direct question, we may ask for four marks. Second lab activity question, we may also ask directly for how many marks? Four marks. Therefore, if you study these two lab activities easily, you can secure four marks there itself. Coming to structure of your as structure of your deals with what biology maximum part you may not ask it up for but for like a short notes on structure of your for two marks a draw diagram of your you may you won't ask why as it belongs to biology you may ask write a short notes on structure of your for two marks coming to activity ten what does activity ten do sound require medium to propagate. Means what? Without if there is no medium, if it is in a vacuum, can sound travel to that one? No. Explain it in the form by activity ten. Four marks question you may ask. Simultaneously activity nine. So liquids as well as gases propagate through liquids as well as gases. Sound can be get propagated. But two marks question you may ask. Or solids with so many examples. Explain activity eight. Propagation of sound to solids with so many examples. Like examples for them, that he may ask that question for two marks also. But together he may ask activity eight as well as activity nine. Nine together he can ask for four marks. Individually two marks, two marks. Together four marks he can ask it up. Coming to activity seven. What does this activity seven? Momentum of vocal cords. For two marks question, you may ask it up. How to put the movement depending upon the movement? Open as well as close. High pitch voice as well as low pitch voice. High pitch voice means what? High frequency producing means what? High amplitude. Low pitch voice, low frequency and low amplitude will be get existing. You may ask that one. Structure of larynx or white voice box. For two marks, you may ask it up. Experiment of activity six. You may ask for four marks. Jalakaran activity four for four marks question is sound ring sound has a quantity of energy as a particle sugar particles are thrown on surface of the particular uh, membrane there itself its tight membrane 
either sugar particles or crystals or else bad in grains also will break up. Those particles start vibrating by that as they are moving upside down. We can say that sound has certain energy. That activity also he may ask for four months. Activity three: All vibrating bodies produce sound. No, they can be vibrate with audible frequency. If it is a normal audible frequency of 20 hertz, 20 kilo hertz, then only they can be hear. Less than that frequency or greater than that frequency cannot be get hear. Direct question for four marks also you can ask it up. Coming to our production of sound, how sound can be get produced? He may give some examples. Activity: listening the voice or hearing things by ringing. By listening the sound, we can say that bell is ringing. Blowing of horn by car or vehicle by the blow of horn, listen the bell sound. You can easily identify. Give some examples of uh, uh, listening uh, based upon listening the voice. For two marks question, he may ask. Identifying the sounds. Sounds what is it made up of in the ground, in our classroom or at home, by hitting with certain things there itself. These two activities can also together it may ask for four marks. Uh, individually he may ask for two marks so that children to get eight questions they have four marks. Till now I have said there itself four marks question individually two marks four marks two one two three four as well as four together for five marks. Five marks and uh, this for activity ten sixth question activity seven no activity four and activity three four four marks eight questions there were more than eight questions of four marks are there so that if you read essay type questions if you concentrate on essay type question easily you can attempt short answers as well as very short answers within that but the point is maximum concept. Can be get covered. So children try to analyze, try to concentrate the concepts in such a way that when you are preparing for exams, keep concentration on what is the type question so that maximum part can be get covered while revising the topic. Revise the topic very well. Write the exam very well. All the best. Thank you.